Zdravo, from Brubitola. Uh, second biggest city after Skopje. We're gonna check this place out. Don't know much about it, but we always find something out along the way, so... Adventure! So in the street, we can find two things Macedonians love. We're on the terrace here in Bitola and you see two gambling houses next to each other. And we're on one of the many terraces because Macedonians love their coffee. They have one before they leave home. Then after they leave home, and then when they get back home, time for another coffee. We are now in National Park Baluster. We're on the historical trail and there are quite some people here. It's pretty easy going as you can see. We even saw people with strollers, so <laughs> So let's have a look at this. Well, <laughs> Let's try to get upstairs. Is this safe? <laughs> Oops. It's a bit old. Lookout point. Martin's gonna check out the trench or trenches as the plate says here. The sign is talking about trenches and you can see he's almost already around the corner. So, here we get another story about the weapons they used in the First World War. They got here the, the donkey cannon, I guess. It's quite primitive, but they also had regular old, well, I think they're very old tanks. So, as always, we are lost. We're uh, now following an unmarked trail. And we, we stumbled upon this forest. That's really cool. This is a very, very, very dark forest. You can see almost no, almost no light in there. I can imagine this must be some kind of the forest that Red Riding Hood found herself in when trying to get to grandmother. So if ever you were thinking about the term stone avalanche, Surely this is something you would have in mind. It's pretty special. I can't really describe it. How, how has this ever happened? So many loose rock on a mountain. And, and it actually continues here on the other side of the road. I think it's pretty cool. In the distance, you can see a small town, not Bitola. No. I think that's somewhere else. It's the town, not sure, but the lake we're looking at is Strezevo. Strezevo. I think, at least, but I uh, think it's Strezevo. Happy people live in Strezevo. What was it? Strezevo. Strezevo, close to the lake. They be swimming all summer. Down here, I found a man-made cave or a hole, which of course we're gonna explore. How about that, Barbara? You gonna explore? <laughs> and you were saying earlier you wanted one of the girls first, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's check it out.
Whoa, cool. It even leads out there, out to the other side of the road. This is probably very, very dangerous, so totally cool. Yep, probably this is a water hole or something. No, I'm at the other side. You're right here. Not really much of a cave, but still pretty cool. We were just contemplating on how to get back. And here's our ride back. Here's our ride back, I guess. There's still cars coming here. Bravo. Bravo. How are you? Bravo. Bravo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I, I like your machine. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Nice columns. Yeah, I think you can say they are the pillars of Roman society. Pillars. Literally. Yes. Huh? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. I will buy it for you. Oh, you think you can afford it? Well, it doesn't even have a roof, so how much can it cost, really? Here we see a Roman jacuzzi, but it's empty now. Why don't you get in, Barbara? Get in, jacuzzi. I will put it on the bubbles. <laughs> hey, but this is fun. It's actually a Roman. Waste bin, cool. So right now we are at Old Bazaar Bitola. Let's check it out. <laughs> what? Oh yes, we might need those later on for the Mia Pietz, for the bears. How about some watermelons, people? You want one? Family? Two thousand. I'm a bad chooser. Which one? Watermelons and watermelons. Oh, there's so many. 